Why is there the same video as all over again on my recommend page? And why there's the same video as all over again on my recommend page? So... I'm pretty sure that I'm using light mode, but with the brightness all the way down. So, let me search for... What is happening in you quick Hey, guess what I just got? Hey! Why is that ever again? Stop playing like this with me! I don't like this! Nah, nothing much. I just got this iPad case. Wait, is that an iPad case? Yes. Why? Why does it look like some sort of a mini laptop? Yeah, it is exactly an iPad case with a physical keyboard. How much does it cost you? Yes! 300 Thailand bucks! Oh yeah? But why this thing is so cheap and is legit? I don't know. Did you choose one for the correct model? Yes! I just okay. get it! I get it! No, I get it! it. Just I get it! No, I get it! No, I get it! No, I get it! No, I get it! I get it! I know that you already! You it's get already! On the ball. You get it? Yes! You, you get freaking goldfish! Hey guys, and welcome to this new and latest refueling stop today. And well, absolutely well. In this today's new refueling stop video, I'm going to take you a look at this interesting iPad case. Mmm. By the way, the packaging just kind of reminds me a lot of an iPad packaging, huh? So first of all, the picture on the listing that is actually shown to you right now, it is actually a case. But it's not just a case, but it turns your iPad into a mini laptop. But why is that? But where is the touchpad? <laughs> oh well. This iPad case is actually meant to be made for an iPad mini 1, 2, and 3, which this thing, it doesn't work with the newer iPad minis, like an iPad mini 4, 5, or 6, or whatsoever. So, they don't even give you a touchpad at all. The only thing that you will get is a physical keyboard and a case, and that's pretty much all about that. But even though this thing is gonna turn your iPad mini into a laptop anyways. So let's take a look at the listings that we got here. So first of all, for the listings that we got right here, right there, on the bottom left corner. So as you can see, we got a shoelace key scissor structure on 40 degrees from 0 to 125. Blade body design. Hmm. I wonder what the material of the body design is made out of. Absolutely made out of plastic. Magnetic hinge design, just like what the most of the folding cases of an iPad have. But even though this thing is came with in a laptop case anyways. And it's designed for an iPad mini 1, 2, and 3. And the picture that shows on the listings is actually completely inaccurate from what it is. So let's take a look on the side here. We got a silver color, golden, rose gold, and black one. Which I got this one in black, so fortunately they have this in stock. So and here's another check mark there for others, which I don't even know if they have other colors like orange, blue, or whatsoever. On the back there is nothing. I don't even know what the blank space for. On the side here it says what is keyboard for an iPad mini one, two, and three. And on the bottom there as so well as it says again, what is keyboard for an iPad mini one, two, and three. And here's the warning, I guess. It says, we will not you if changing the content of the instructions or specifications. And there's some Chinese text going on here. Caution, to use this product properly, please read the instructions. And some Chinese text. Pretty assuming that it is made in China. 
very nice and here's some certifications that it make the product look legit so that's pretty much all about that for the listings and that's pretty much it for the listings that we got on an iPad mini case so without any further issues let's get this iPad case unboxed it out so here we go boys <laughs> inside the box we got an instruction manual which it has the letter in Chinese and English which but even though on the back side there it says in Chinese and on the front it's basically just in English so it's going to tell you how to use it so here's what it looks like if you want to push this part of the video to read all of this it's okay so oh well I finished reading this in a matter of a second and inside the box, we got the case itself, as well as the micro USB charging cable. So here it is. Pretty basic micro USB charging cable. Hmm. But since I have a lot of micro USB cables, so I'm not going to use this anyways. Because I have a lot of them now in my house. So I'm just going to keep one in the box. For this, if I have any good benefit from this, it's okay. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to keep it in the box anyways. And also, I'm going to keep the manual in the box, so I'm just going to keep it just in case. And let's take a look at the iPad mini case itself. So as you can see, here's what it's actually going to look like. So as you can see, here's the design. The design itself kind of reminds me a lot of a MacBook. Look at that. So, but even though it gives you a physical keyboard right there, so as you can see, here's your physical keyboard. You got a Q W T R T Y keyboard type going on. Also as some function that you need to press hold this function key to let it go all the work. But unfortunately, I couldn't get a Thai keyboard on this, and that's because, oh well. But since I'm going to type in English anyways, and here's the home button there that you have familiar with in the iPads and iPhones. And also as some of the buttons that is actually trying to mimic the MacBook and including this one too a command button and a delete button that instead of a backspace it says delete so and on the top right corner right there is your on or switch and the button to turn on the Bluetooth mode and on the side there you got a micro USB charging cable or oh. And on the side there, you got a. <laughs> and on the side there, you got a micro USB charging interface. And on the back, you get nothing but the hinge. So you got a magnetic hinge going on here, just like the folding iPad cases. And on the bottom there is the information of a wireless keyboard. It's a tablet wireless keyboard, DC in 5 volt, 500 milliamps, and it says notice. Please do not dismantle or open. Oh well. I don't want to open anything from this. Oh well. But unless if I want to salvage something with. So, and here's some certifications that is actually trying to look legit. And here's a QC sticker right there. It says it was made back in December 2020. Hmm. That was the latest product. But not the latest product. So, and as you can see, here's what it looks like when it's unfold. So, and right now, without any further, let's get my iPad applied onto this laptop case. So, first of all, I'm going to take off the iPad and let's take a look at the old case for one last time. So, here it is. This is almost 10 year old iPad case. So, but this one, it looks very legit. So, but this one. It's actually a completely official Apple product. So here it says iPad, I guess. Designed by Apple in California. And blah, 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 blah. Assemble China stuff. So this one is actually a completely legit iPad case that is actually foldable. So, <coughs> but right now, it's actually burning into ashes, anyways. So I'm going to keep this in the box just in case. Like that. And right now, without any further, let's get this iPad Mini 2 applied onto this iPad Mini laptop case to see if the performance is any good. What the? All right.
Alright, there we go. Huh, it was very easy to apply on. So as you can see, here's what it looks like in a nutshell. So, the all you do is, you use the iPad like what is actually supposed to be a tablet PC or whatever. So, but this one is not even a tablet PC, but it's a mini MacBook that has a touch screen and also the back camera. Let's get right into a performance of a keyboard to see if the performance of the keyboard is any good. So right now, I'm going to turn on the iPad and I'm going to go on to settings. So first of all, when you turn on the Bluetooth keyboard, the blue light show up and it just shuts off. And to turn on the Bluetooth mode, you need to push this button here and it is actually flashing to search for the nearby devices like an iPad Mini 2 right here. And right now, here it says iPad keyboard, so right now it's not connected. So let's connect onto that. And it says connected. So first of all, I'm going to test if this home button is actually any good. So let's press this button. It actually works. So the home button somewhat, it works. So let's get on to the notes and I'm going to type in something. So let's get this thing onto duty. So where, where's the note? Come on. All right, there we go. A new note, which I created on 7.46. Let me tie something on an iPad Mini 2's notes. So let's zoom in to see if there is any better. So right now, I'm going to type something else. So first of all, is this one a pretty familiar word. What the? But somewhat, I accidentally hold the F and key to decrease the brightness, so the function key does work, so you can set the brightness high or low, or you can set the volume decrease or decrease if you want to, and you can also mute the sound if you want to. So the function key works, and also as well as the shift. So for example, this, whatever it is, so here it says hello world. So here's what it looks like in a nutshell. When, it, when I press enter, it actually goes on to the new line of what's going to type in. So, let's type something. Ha! Huh. It actually works. Look at that. As for the third one, I'm going to type in my name. Huh. It works. And also my channel name. Ha! Huh, look at that. It actually works. <laughs> it actually works. But somewhat, there is a little bit of delay going on here. But I don't even care about it that much. And if I press this, what is actually seems to be a lock key right there on the function, it actually turns off the iPad. Like that. But if you want to unlock it, you just press this button again and it turns on your iPad. So, very easy to use. Hmm. And also, this question mark right there. So, says what's going on. And again, I'm going to type some nonsense words. Huh, but the tight feeling on this keyboard is kind of remind me a lot of a MacBook keyboard. So, which it actually gives you a very luxury feeling when you type in something else. Alright, that's enough typing. So, I'm going to delete all of it. So, select all and press delete. So, right there. If I press delete, but while these are covered up. It actually disappears. But I saw on Lazada which there is a ton of the physical keyboard case, which they even give you something like this. So but even though they just give you something like this one here. So for example, this is your iPad and you got your physical keyboard sticking out and you can adjust something like this like 
what the mouse on the top top must do. So this kind of folding case is actually not my best folding case in the world. So, but even though they're gonna break over time, but with the physical keyboard, which it makes everything feels heavy. And what about the conclusions for this iPad Mini 1, 2, and 3 keyboard case? So, just let me say that it doesn't even give you a touchpad or a Thai keyboard. So, but instead, you get a typical English keyboard, Q W E R T Y, which is pretty standard type of English keyboard going on here. But it didn't give you a Thai keyboard at all. So, but even though I'm just going to type in English anyways, or whatever, I'm going to use my language on the touch screen anyways. So here's the function key that is actually hiding in this number three right here to turn on the physical keyboard, which is inside the iPad. So you can change your language to my language if you want to. So for example, this one. <laughs> so here it says what? Because of, I don't know. <laughs> so, but for my conclusions, this thing, but even though this thing is actually very useful for typing in some of the situations, like if you want to type in something, like if you want to type in English, so this one is going to be okay for myself if I didn't use my language that much. So, I'm going to turn on the virtual keyboard again to change the language to English. And there we go. So turn off the virtual keyboard inside the iPad and use the physical keyboard right there. So Alright, and that's pretty much it for this iPad Mini 1, 2 and 3 case. So this one it is actually very useful for the multiple situations. Like if you want to watch YouTube inside of this laptop case like this, this is going to be okay. And alright, that's pretty much it for this iPad Mini 1, 2, and 3 keyboard case. This thing is actually very versatile. And as well as some of the features, like you need to hold the function key to turn on off the hidden features inside this. So, but for example, if I want to search for something, it didn't get onto the Google, but instead it's actually just a search for an app or suggestion. And that's pretty much it. As well as turn on the internet. What the? <laughs> what this button is supposed to do? It doesn't even do anything. But this button is actually supposed to open the Safari. But somewhat, it didn't work. So, but otherwise, increase and decrease volume works as well as the menu and also locking the screen. So, everything works on this iPad keyboard case here. So, but except this button here doesn't even do anything so and that's pretty much all of it for this iPad mini 1 2 and 3 keyboard case and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and also don't forget to like comment and subscribe as well as share this video if you want to okay that's the end of this video and also in the previous episode I have done reviewing this data trust USB charging hub right here and also if you want to see more content about this channel, so please press that red subscribe button and turn it to gray and press the bell notifications if you want to. And with that all, thank you guys for watching. Comment and subscribe, share this video, and I will see you guys later in the next referring stop video. Or otherwise, this girl would came to your house one day. And I will see you guys later in the next reviewing stuff video. Otherwise, the video of this is actually not at the 10 or higher. Like and subscribe or else this teenage girl would came to your house one day.